these attacks like like flies just buzzing around to to catch your attention the simple fact that we've noticed these attacks is already a signal that we've weakened our prayer and the way to fight these attacks say the desert fathers and saint john of the ladder the way to fight these attacks is to remind yourself that you are standing before god notice what they do the way to fight the evil one is to remind yourself that you are standing before God. This fight against the evil one has nothing to do with the evil one himself. They don't say curse him or laugh at him or mock him or do anything concerning him. Don't absolutely nothing completely completely ignore those attacks and just refocus yourself, remind yourself that you are facing God himself in prayer. And that will keep you safe because you are continuing, continuing to reflect the image of God and at the same time it denies evil the chance to take being in you. It denies evil the chance to lay its eggs in you. You know I understand things better if I visualize them and that's why this image of flies has been so helpful to me. To put things in a different visual way, if for instance you are attacked at the beginning of your time of prayer by images and thoughts and you manage to get um, a stick and you spend the 10 minutes or one hour of your prayer time kicking, beating up the devil, like physically beating him up and spitting on him and cursing him, at the end of your prayer, you have actually been defeated. You have not been victorious. You haven't come out victorious of this battle, although you've spent your entire time cursing the evil one and physically beating him up with a stick. Again, this is a visual image, just so I can understand better what the fathers are teaching us. That is not a victory but a defeat because although it looks like you've been um, the victor, in fact what has happened is that you have stopped reflecting, stopped mirroring God onto your soul and you have refocused on the evil one. What has happened is that you have made those 10 minutes or one hour of your prayer not about God but about the evil one. Do you see how, how horrible actually that is? That the time that you intended to offer to God in prayer, you've made that time about the evil one, not about God. The evil one will do anything to distract us from prayer, including play defeat. He's going to collapse on the floor and he's going to keep on crying and asking for mercy and encourage us to stop hitting him because he knows that that's going to tickle our pride. And we are going to keep on engaging him, seemingly defeating him, when in fact he's tricking us and defeating us by turning our attention from the one life-giving being, God himself, and refocusing us onto him. He will do anything to turn your prayer time into a devil time, into a he time, instead of a God time. The simple reality is that as long as we are going to walk towards God, we are going to be fought. So, we should actually take comfort from the reality of these attacks. Because as long as we are attacked, that means that we are walking in the right direction. There will be no peace from these attacks. Again, if you read the Holy Fathers, if you read the Fathers of the Desert in particular, you'll see some horrible example. Um, St. Paphnutius, for instance, he, during the time of his martyrdom, St. Paphnutius, during the time of his martyrdom, was attacked by thoughts of blasphemy. So the evil one, even as St. Paphnutius was literally offering his life as a sacrifice for his faith in God, 
He was tempted by the evil one, even as he was dying as a martyr for Christ with evil images and blasphemous thoughts. Take comfort from this and find courage in these stories because they simply mean that we are following these saints and if we are following in their footsteps, that means that by the grace of God and under the protection of the Mother of God and with their prayer, we shall also, by the grace of God, find salvation and be with them in the kingdom. Is this thought mine? Do I want it? If the answers are no, then completely ignore the evil one. And the way to ignore him, the way to fight him and defeat him, is to engage God. Don't engage him in any way. The more these thoughts, these flies try to distract you, the more focused get yourself on God. The more today's topic is thoughts turn into action. You have to clean your thoughts during Holy Rosary prayer. Let me tell you guys, she is real life intercessor and you will never fall in sin, not even fade it. It's our promise to our Holy Lady Fatima.